Hey, how you going? How you going? I um, uh, just wanted to do this little video just to explain another thing about the importance of tonal values. Surprise, surprise. Tone wins. Just is the case. Uh, picture without tone is not going to read properly. Uh, doesn't matter what colors you choose. Tone is always going to be the thing that uh, separates amateur from a professional. Now, looking for tonal values is um, can be quite can be quite tricky in your uh, when you're observing a piece and observing a scene and what to uh, how to separate your tones. And I just want to show you something here um, that might help. It's about isolating different tones. So I'll show you something. Look at this. So we've got five different tonal values there that we can see. You know, and if we want to have a look at, you know, the things that we usually talk about with consistency of paint with watercolor, you know, from left to right, we've got uh, butter, cream, milk, coffee, and tea, um, strong to weak. And that's all well and good. We should, we should strive to include at least that many different tones in our pictures, if not more, if we can. It makes it more interesting, more dynamic, pushes things back, brings things forward, and ultimately gives us a better picture. But we also have to be mindful of what, when we're choosing our tonal values, of what we're pitting them against. So let's go have a look here. Let's go. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Check that out. They are exactly the same colors, same tones, shades, um, as is in the first slide we had. However, obviously the background is black and not white like it is in the other one. And it's a bit of a trick, trick of the eye. So on this one, they appear, these colors and tones appear much brighter because they're against a black background, a dark background. And conversely, same way, in reverse. They just appear a little bit less dramatic when it's a white background. So if you've got a if you've got a black background or a dark background with something there, put something light next to it. Judge your next tone by the tone that's already on your page or one that you know is coming up. So check that out again. It's crazy. Always freaks me out. And uh, you should always be looking for your tonal values over anything else. See, I think Herman Peekle said it when he said, you know, if you, if you turn take a uh, an, an old TV or a new, t new TV for that matter, anything and you take the color out of your picture, you've still got a picture. This is black and white and there's still a picture there. So for example, we could do this. Still a picture, you can still see me. That's because there are tonal values there. Have a look in this screen. How many tonal values can you see? It's probably, it's probably nine or 10, maybe even more if we have a look. And that's got nothing to do with color. My stupid red hat could be any color. It could be a nice sensible color, like a beige. But here we go. I just wanted to show you that and I hope you have a really good day and a great rest of your week, rest of your month, rest of your year. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe if you can, share, Sonny Bono, whoever. Thanks very much. Catch you later.